Hey everybody, welcome to Game Reviews and More. Yeah, Junkyard told me to say that. Anyways, this is Bobby Aga 20,000, and uh, hopefully this video will be going up on Game Reviews and More, which is Junkyard's second channel. And this is actually, uh, right here I have three games of free-for-all for you guys, except the first two I don't actually win, and you'll see why. So the first one, I'm on my way to win. I'm, you'll just see what happens, all right? I'm not gonna spoil. The second game is a game with a, a modder, and you see the type of people that suck so much that they have to ruin the game for everybody else. The third game is a free-for-all game where I win 30 for seven. Now I know that's not the best score ever, but you know, this should have been the game that's that's being number one right now. But unfortunately, it's the other one. Um. Yeah, I guess. All right, so Junkyard, Junkyard has a new channel, you know, and uh, oh, how did that guy not kill me? Anyways, did you guys know the FAL is now automatic? I didn't. But uh, anyways, yeah. So Junkyard apparently has a, a new channel, and uh, anybody can upload stuff to it, and um, it's, it, it looks pretty cool, you know. I'm definitely gonna try it out. I mean, I was. He let me post videos on VG clips, and that was really nice, and I was super excited for that. And yeah, look at this guy with that amazing kill feed. But yeah, so I get the predator. And yeah, Junkyard's really one of the top YouTube people. He's one of my favorite people to watch his videos because they're just they're just funny and. They're always good. It's not like, I hate this game, I'm gonna kill myself. No, it's nothing like that. He's always happy and so, I'm playing this game today. And... Yeah, well, pretty much. Uh, it's actually 1 a.m. right now, so I should be sleeping because I have school tomorrow, but I'm not. And as you can see right there, I didn't think I was gonna die when I jumped off that, but I guess I did. Which sucks. So actually, if you check this out, in a few seconds here, you'll see me put a claymore at this door. No, wait, no, it wasn't this one. Um, but you'll see in a little bit. Um, yeah, we're tied. I'm tied right now for the lead. And it looks like there's about a minute more left of this game, or two minutes maybe. Oh yeah, check this out right here. So I grab the scavenger bag, put down the claymore, and the dude's already running in to get killed. That's how much he wants to die. So I actually picked up his FAL right there, and I actually meant to pick up the AK-47, but I didn't. And all my claymores are going off, and that guy took way too many bullets to kill. So yeah, I'm calling in the Harriers, I've got the lead, and I have two of my kill streaks. So right now I'm thinking, this looks pretty good, I'm pretty sure I can pull this off. And I get a nice double kill there for the Pavlo. Pavlo, you know, whatever you want to call it, Pavlo. I like to say my L's, like with a British accent, like Pavlo, yeah, hello, instead of hello, you know. But anyways, so I take that guy out and I'm planning to steal his care package. But I wanted to make sure I reloaded my guns first, and he ended up jacking it anyways. So I've got a pretty nice lead. I think I'm like 20-something for one, or 20-something for two. A really nice KD. And then this happens. Oh, Infinity Ward. Roundhouse kick to the face. And then this is the next game I joined. And I'm just going to fast forward through the boring parts because nothing interesting happens. I get a few nice kills, and I'm on my way to getting a kill streak. Take out that sniper, uh, blah blah blah. Take out that guy. One away from the predator, and um, I get sniped by a camping sniper. Honestly, you guys, if you're gonna snipe in this game, please don't camp in a corner because you just look stupid. You look like a total noob that you don't know what you're doing. So the crazy action's gonna start in a second here. Check out this guy. He's got his harriers and. Uh, I get my predator, and I call on the predator, and uh, watch this. I'm pressing the turbo right about now, and uh, oh, what just happened? It like, 
exploded in midair but still killed the dude. And then this guy got a chopper gunner and uh, how am I getting damaged? I'm inside a building. There's no way he could damage me inside that building. And look at the kill fee. He's absolutely tearing up every single person on the map. I don't think a chopper gunner can do that. Look at that. He's damaging me through the wall. And also check this out. I'm killing myself to change classes so I can shoot this fucker down. And watch what happens. Really? What? The thing is, I blew up the chopper gunner and committed suicide with the stinger. And then his partner here apparently also has a chopper gunner. I mean, I definitely know there's more than one modder in this lobby, so... Uh, as you can see his gamer tag there, it's XDFLX Inferno, and the E is a 3. So I'll try to put that in the description so you guys know who to, who to report. And look at this! How did this guy kill me? I had so many bullets on him. There's definitely some modding going on here, and it's more than one person. So, yeah, um, I guess if you really want to find these people, you can just... Oh, you know, look at that, it takes me out again. Jeremy is cool. If you really want to find these people, you can try to pause it right when I pull up the score menu or something, and then find their gamer tags. I guess that's something I should be doing, you know. So yeah, pretty much the game ends, and yeah, what a douchebag. If you really... The game's been out for a year, and you still can't play it legitimately. You should not own this game. I'm sorry. So here's the game that I win 30 for 7, I believe. Um, yeah, I think it was 30 for 7. And this game is, uh, it's much better. There's a few weird moments here and there. But yeah, so I get the first blood, you know, and then this sniper dude, uh, total... Luck. Well, he did get a hit marker on me, so I guess he deserved to kill me. It's kind of odd that he knew exactly where I was. I mean, considering the fact that I had a silenced weapon. But, take out this guy. I noticed a sniper there. And, uh, okay, did he just snipe me through the wall or what? Whatever. It looked weird on my screen. Perhaps he actually shot me or something. Um, so, yeah. He actually was like, oh, dude, that was lag when I asked him, how did you do that? So, yeah, that's a great excuse when you definitely don't know how you did it. Just say it's lag. And then I take him out right there. So, yeah. By the way, um, I finally managed to get Ninja Pro again. And I believe an enemy UAV was just called in. And, uh, yes, who else knows exactly when to snipe me? It's that guy gear Rizu or whatever unfortunately he wasn't really modding so I'm not really gonna suggest you guys go report him even though I would because anybody that gets amazing kills on me should be reported and look at this guy how many bullets does it take to kill one person with a scar H the world will never know he actually called me a camper right here no he didn't say I, I probably just talked right over him but he actually called me a camper and I was like, actually, I wasn't camping. I was just standing there and I heard you, so I turned around because, you know, he blew up my claymore and I'm not even sure how the claymore didn't damage him. So, take him out again. And now, in his mind, I'm a confirmed camper because I don't run around the entire map with a sniper rifle. Okay. Um... Let's see, I got the AA-12 as my secondary. You guys, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you should, you would know that my ideal secondary would be the Akimbo Rafikas, but I don't have them yet. I will in like four more levels, I think. I'll have the Rafikas and, yeah, by the way, if you wanna watch more of my videos, come check out my channel, man. I mean, I have my 30th nuke up there on vacant. I have a free for all on, with, on vacant with the FAL, I have a new free for all man. I've got a bunch of great stuff. I've got a bunch of flawless games with a team, without a team, pub matches. What a, man, everything's over there. I've got a, a lot of great footage. Unfortunately, not in HD, but you know, before you buy an HD PVR, you gotta get an HD TV, right? And I'm still stuck with this like 20-something inch Toshiba that's fatter than fatter than 
the most obese American, even though it probably, no, it definitely isn't fatter than the world's most obese person, and now look at this guy there. Well, what can I do? Camping with a sniper, I mean, I don't think, I guess it's legit. I mean, I really can't complain that he killed me. He was there, and he was camping with a sniper. Snipers are supposed to camp in real life, but then again, this isn't real life, because in real life, you can't pull out your backpack and pull out a infinite ammo out of your backpack. But, you know, whatever. Infinity War definitely knows how to make video games better than me. So, yeah. It, it seems apparently that whenever I get a good game, um... Infinity Ward just has a need to just, I don't know, stop it. Like, the few good games I had today that I was doing really well, like that one game where I lost the connection, I was, I had amazing scores and the game just stopped or something. I don't know, maybe Rubber Bowling's watching over me. I mean, I've speculated this in the past, that Rubber Bowling is actually watching me play and whenever something good happens, he makes sure to kill, to kill me. Which is odd, and most of you are probably going like, who's this guy, what's he talking about? But trust me, there's been some pretty weird situations. So like, for once, I was uh, around this corner, and I saw this other dude around another corner of a building, and so I popped out, emptied a clip into him, he started spraying, and then he ended up shooting bullets straight into the ground, and I died somehow. And I've never seen this before. He just sprayed and then aimed down his sights into the ground and he killed me. Me and my friends did like a hundred reenactments of this and it was not, we were not able to recreate what just happened. So obviously it was, it was a one time thing, you know, like a crazy glitch or something. But the weird thing is that it always happens to me. Every single time. I'm the one guy that gets this amazing stuff. I'm the one guy that's at a 24 kill streak, one away from the nuke and free for all, and I empty a clip into the guy and get five hit markers with the tower 21. That's me. Yeah, Comcast internet for the win. And I don't know what this guy's message meant. He wants to 1v1 me, that's amazing, I don't care. I'm busy recording a game, man, so I take this guy out and take this guy out and uh. Yeah, cool. Camp in front of your claymore. That makes you very skillful. It's kind of small things like that that prevent me from getting, like, the really good scores in games. I mean, usually I do, but occasionally there's the douchebag that camps in front of his claymore. And look at this guy. I knew he was there, and I was going to wait. I actually saw him, so I tried to run away, but I should have put down the claymore and... That's a death that shouldn't have happened, but it did. So yeah. Um, I really hope this guy and look at this guy just still camping here, honestly. You're not gonna win a free for all game by camping in one room the entire time. It just doesn't work like that. You win a free for all by strategically controlling areas that lots of people run through, not by camping in a little room next to the stairs. You might call strategically controlling a room camping too, but it's actually not. Because you can pitch a small tent in a room, but you can't pitch a small tent in a large area. Actually, you can do both, but that doesn't make sense. Please check out my channel, guys, and be sure to subscribe to me. Thank you, Junkyard. See you guys later. Bye-bye. out.